Hi, my name is Lorelai Ramirez. For Weed Week this year, Viceland asked me to get an entire town high. Hey, Lorelai, it's Hannah from Viceland. Just wanted to let you know we're probably going to have you try to get a whole town high for Weed Week. As a very serious aspiring journalist, I had to ensure my own success. So I chose the only town where I knew I wouldn't fail. Bonanza, Colorado. Population, five. So we're on our way to meet one of the residents of the town of Bonanza named Mark Perkovich. I am grateful for this opportunity to be in the middle of nowhere, no cell phone service, no bathroom, meeting a stranger who might just choke me out. <laughs> so here we are in Bonanza, and we've made it to Mark Perkovich's house. Okay, I think I see somebody. Just getting out. Is that Mark? Before I met Mark, he approached our producers and informed them he specifically did not want to discuss cannabis on camera. I couldn't afford to fail, so I had to figure out a way to bond with Mark to make him open up. Hello there. Hi. Hi, I'm Mark. I'm Lorelai. Nice to meet you. Hi, Lorelai. Uh, thanks so much for having us here. Thanks for being here. What brings you? <laughs> Should we walk around? Sure. What do you want to see? As we walked around Mark's property, I was eager to get into the topic of weed, but he kept going on and on about his place. A two-seat outhouse. You hold hands. It's a whole new level of intimacy. Intimacy. Yeah, it really is. Can I ask, how did you meet your wife? I had a case of shingles, and I knew her father from church. Mm -hmm. And he said, my daughter just got over that. I'll have her give you a call. And so we talked on the phone for like two months. And I told her I wasn't looking for a girlfriend, but if she'd like to get married, we could do that. Wow. <laughs> so, That's kind of like love in the time of cholera. Exactly, yeah. Wow. Yeah. I got to get a disease. <laughs> I don't even know if it's a disease. It's just these sores. It's just yeah. ridiculous pain. I mean, on your knees. Screaming at the walls. Did you do that? Yes. You did scream at the walls? Yes, I can did. Can we reenact it? Okay, uh, What if great. we both did it? Okay, okay, we can Ready? both do it. Okay, Ready? one, two, three. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think I was starting to fall in love with him. I could see myself living here with Mark in the outhouse, but I knew if I didn't act fast, I wouldn't be able to finish what I had gone there to do. So it was time to ask him about the weed. I want to ask you a question. Sure. And I think, I think I'm not supposed to, but I, I need to ask you your thoughts about um, cannabis in Colorado. Uh, I don't like it. I don't like it. It's, uh, I don't know. It's just, I don't think it's good for people. This was exactly what I was afraid of. I could see there was no way I'd get Mark high. How would I return to Viceland only to let them know I was a failure? How would I return home? Is this the beginning and end of my journalistic career? Well, well cool. cool. That was really fun. Yeah, it was really it was fun. fun. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Yeah. As Mark and his wife drove out of town for a dog sitting gig a few miles away, I did some math. There's five people in this town, five plus there were now only three people left in town, and I had to get them all high, if they were even home. It's just me. It's just me, I guess. <laughs> yeah. And then suddenly, a miracle. I stumbled across a small, isolated wasteland, a sign of someone willing to exploit themselves for my benefit. It's a person. Hi, how are you? Oh, swell, how are you guys? Good, I'm Lorelai, nice to meet you. Just letting everyone know, this is person two of five people who possibly live here. No, uh... Yeah, that would be five. 
So what do you think about legal uh, cannabis in Colorado? I'm not a hater. What you do is your choice. Mm -hmm. Do you smoke weed? Time to time I have, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, what would you say if I... Damn! Had a little bit. Finally, the weed is being smoked. We're making history in the small town of Bonanza. As a representative of the whole town of Bonanza, I could say Laura just got the town high, the whole town high. I've done it. I've really done it. I've gotten an entire town high. I couldn't wait to get back to Viceland to tell them the good news. My first assignment was a success. There are so many people I'd like to thank, but most of all, I'd like to thank myself for my drive, my spirit, my willingness to be out here, my hair, my thighs, my clothes, my kids, my wives.